Azure customers can access the catalog of open source software packets by Bitnami directly through the Azure Marketplace user interface. Bitnami solutions are packets following the industry best practices and always provide the most up-to-date and secure version of the application and its components. When any security threat or update is identified, the Bitnami My VMware team automatically repackages the application and its latest and more secure version is pushed to the Azure Marketplace. Azure Marketplace users can choose amongst a wide range of popular developer tools, databases, machine learning applications, infrastructure solutions, coding frameworks, network and security solutions, business tools, and more. Bitnami delivers these solutions to the Azure Marketplace in the form of virtual machines, multi-tier templates, Helm charts, and container images that can be deployed either on the Azure Cloud or the Azure Kubernetes service. RabbitMQ is one of these open source solutions that developers, DevOps, and database architects will find in the Azure Marketplace to use in applications that need a variety of publish and subscribe capabilities, point-to-point -point request or reply messaging capabilities, and more. Every RabbitMQ offering packaged by Bitnami comes with the necessary dependencies and pre-configurations to deploy it in the Azure endpoints of your choice with the assurance of working perfectly out of the box. In this video, you will learn how to deploy a RabbitMQ virtual machine on an Azure server through the Azure Marketplace. Once the deployment is running, we walk you through the process of creating an SSH tunnel to access the RabbitMQ admin panel. Navigate to the Azure portal and under the Azure Services section, click Marketplace. You will be redirected to the main page of the Azure Marketplace. In the search box, enter Binami RabbitMQ. You will see all RabbitMQ offerings packaged by Binami. Select the virtual machine. Click Create to start configuring your virtual machine. In the Basics tab, you must enter important information to configure your virtual machine. Select a subscription and click Create a resource group to create a new resource group in which the virtual machine will run. You can also use an existing one. Then enter instance details such as region, availability options and so on, and the size of the machine. In the Administration Account section, select SSH public key or password as authentication type. In this demo, we will create and download a new keeper, but either way is fine. From this point, you have set all the basics to run your application on Azure. If you need to set up special configurations for your virtual machine, navigate through the tabs to specify details about the disk, networks, VM management, and so on. Once everything is completed, click Review and Create to check that the information you have entered is correct and for passing through an automatic validation. Click Create to finish the process. Download the private key and store it in a safe location for future use. The Azure Marketplace will now begin spinning up the server. A notification will appear indicating the current status. The process usually takes a few minutes. Once the deployment successfully completes, you will find your virtual machine running within your resource group. Your Binami application is now running in your Azure cloud servers. Now it is time to check if everything works fine by connecting to the RabbitMQ admin panel. There are two options to connect to the RabbitMQ management panel, access through an SSH tunnel or open the port 15672 for remote access. In order to avoid security risk, we recommend creating an SSH tunnel to access the panel. To create the SSH panel, you must open a port for remote access and have the IP address of the virtual machine at hand. Let's first open the port, navigate to Settings Networking, and in the Inbound Port Rules, click Add Inbound Port Rule. We are going to use the port 8080 as the source port. In the Destination Port Ranges field, enter 8080. Keep the default values in the rest of the fields. Click Add to finish the process. Now we are going to get the virtual machine's IP address. 
navigate back to overview and under the networking section, copy the public IP address. Depending on the operating system that your local system is running, you will create the tunnel using an SSH client such as PuTTY or by executing certain commands in a terminal window. This video shows how to open an SSH tunnel through a terminal. Run the command zone in the screen. This command includes information about the source port, the destination port, the path to the key file, the admin username, and the IP address associated with the virtual machine. Use as a source port the port you have recently opened through the Azure portal 8080. The destination port for RabbitMQ is 15672. Add the path where the key file is stored, the admin username, and the IP address you've copied in the last step. Once the secure tunnel is active, you should be able to navigate to the RabbitMQ admin panel you created by browsing to localhost colon 8080. To access the RabbitMQ admin panel, you must enter the application credentials. You can obtain them within the first 24 hours by checking the system log on the Azure portal or anytime by connecting to the server through SSH and running the following command. This video shows the first option. To get the application admin credentials, navigate to the left side menu, scroll down until help, and select boot diagnostic serial log. Scroll down until you find the username and password. Enter these values to access the RabbitMQ panel. That's all. You can start now using it to control asynchronous and synchronous communications in your applications. With Vietnami Solutions and Azure Marketplace, customers can access to a wide range of open source building blocks that enable developer teams to develop faster. Azure customers can go through all the configuration options directly through the Azure Marketplace user interface and thus have their applications running in just a few clicks, whether in the cloud or in Kubernetes. Learn more about deploying Vietnami solutions through the Azure Marketplace by visiting the links provided in the description of this video. For additional queries, please reach out via the Vietnami GitHub repositories for virtual machines, charts, and containers. Follow us on Twitter and subscribe to the Vietnami and Azure YouTube channels. Thank you for watching.